Okay, we're back. We're down here at uh, the Hall of Justice. Uh, today is November 7th, 2014. And we're here at the Justice for O'Shane Evans rally. And this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. I mean, I'm from Fresno. Yeah, yeah. It's And we should be getting started here in a couple of minutes. Second, folks. And for those of you just joining us, we're down here at 850 Bryant at the Hall of Justice, Injustice, here in San Francisco. And we're justice for O'Shane Evans. He was killed by the San Francisco police um, about two weeks ago, uh, the night the Giants won the World Series. Uh, police officer David Goff fired seven shots and uh, struck O'Shane. killed him and he was ruled DOA on the site um, there's a number of questions that the uh, family of O'Shane Evans are bringing up and to highlight the fact that an african-american man is killed by the police department every 28 hours in the United States um, and that's as close to the statistic as you're going to get because the FBI believe it or not does not keep track of the police killings. All right, can I survive? So I don't believe this live stream will be more than a half an hour for those of you that are re-embedded uh, or re-streaming. Beautiful day here in San Francisco. Actually, I wish I hadn't worn black. Yeah. 
And we'll be getting started. We'll be getting started here in just a minute or two. We have some speakers. Uh, Alan Blueprint, some other is going to be here. Also, uh, Idris Stelly, another person that was killed by San Francisco police, um, and she actually won a lawsuit for five million dollars against the police department in a wrongful death. And um, believe it or not, somebody was killed last night by San Francisco police down at uh, Potrero Hill Housing Project. Uh, they said he had a gun and he was pointing it at the police officer, although he didn't fire a shot. And he was also killed by the police department. And that was just last night here in San Francisco. So, you know, you think uh, all the police killings are happening in Ferguson? Well, we've got our fair share of them here in the Bay Area. And we are not immune to police killing. Oh, I forgot. I wore all black, so you can imagine. It's, the sun beats down. There is no mercy at the Hall of Justice. Even the sun is merciless. Can you still live stream? I'm doing it right now. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because um, your uplink, uh, and you're only as good as what your uh, cell phone signal is. That's the that's the uh, part of the equation, right? And I know you're not going to get better video quality, but you, you're also getting um, instantaneous response from people, and you're getting total social networking. So, you know, it's kind of a trade-off, right? And the better camera you have, the better phone, the better uh, signal you get, to, you, know, you can get it in HD. I just do it on the cheap. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of money. I got other things I need to spend money on. Yeah, I, uh, I other bills. Yeah, yeah, ah, breeze. You could use that. Yeah. Yeah, for those of you watching, I back in the uh, 2000s, I used to spend a lot of time down here at 850 Bryant, where we successfully took on the San Francisco Police Department for arresting medical cannabis patients. So I used to come down here a lot and do a lot of advocacy work. Got to know all the undercover cops here in San Francisco. And uh, and believe it or not, none of the people that I advocated for was ever convicted. So not in uh, not in uh, not in state or local court, superior. So yeah, we got a nice little crowd showing up here for lunch. Down here at 850 Bryant at the Hall of Injustice. And I've changed the building a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it's roasted out here. I'm hoping, I'm actually selfishly hoping that this doesn't last very long, right?
No racist. No justice. No racist. No justice. No racist. No justice. No racist. No justice. Anyway, for those of you just joining us, we're down here at 850 Bryan here in San Francisco at a justice for O'Shane Evans, who was killed by San Francisco Police Department uh, just about a week and a half, two weeks ago.
on the steps at the Hall of Justice here in San Francisco, California, uh, protesting the police killing of O'Shane Evans. Okay. 
foundation. Uh, Kenny was 19 years old, murdered over a unpaid $2 muni fare. Wow. Uh, later a gun was put on him to uh, uh, propagate a lie that he was, he had initiated uh, uh, his murder. Uh, Cindy Mitchell That's in Vallejo, her brother Mario Romero was murdered by the Vallejo police. She says often that he was murdered a second time. He was murdered in the media. This happens to all these young people. They are murdered a second time. The same thing happens to Alex Nieto. The same thing happens to Oshem Evans. On and on, they murdered the young people a second time. Uh, I wish I could say something to help the family. All I can say is, we're here, the Idris Scully Foundation is here, the Alan Luther Center for Justice is here, Anthony is here. Um, I know the Oscar Grant Foundation could be here, if it would be. We all stand here. God bless you all. Todo poder pueblo, all power to the people. I'm here from the Andy Lopez Coalition for Justice in Santa Rosa. Andy Lopez was a 13-year-old boy playing with a toy gun. When they shot him, filled him full of seven bullets, and left him dead in a field. We've been out for a year demanding justice. We've been arrested, we've marched, we've taken it. And this fall, we'll be going to trial in federal court in Oakland. We plan to put the police, the sheriff's department, and the county on trial for the murder of 13-year-old Andy Lopez. Today, when I leave here, I go down to Half Moon Bay. In Half Moon Bay, they killed Janira Serrano. I represent her. I'm a lawyer. She was an 18-year-old girl who had a club foot, who had a mental disability. When the police came, she couldn't run. She couldn't fight. They said they were afraid for their lives. So they shot her dead in front of her mother, in front of her father, in front of the Latino community. It's a barrio. There's no white people that live there. It's a separated area for only Mexicans, where the police do as they want to do. But those days are over. Those Mexicans who aren't citizens, those Mexicans who don't speak English, those Latinos that have been out in the street demanding justice. I represent Oscar Herrera in Dublin. He was shot and killed in his mother's arms. He was 18 years old. Police bullets went through his mother's right hand his mother's left hand, and he died in her arms. I heard a man arguing, did O'Shea have a gun? That's not the issue. The issue is that we are facing an epidemic of police murders from Michael Brown to Santa Rosa to San Francisco to Half Moon Bay. That is the issue. And I want to close by saying that the brother's right. This is largely focuses on the backs of young brown and black kids, but they're not the only ones. Next week, we will announce a lawsuit in Santa Rosa. They killed, they seized the house, 50 SWAT officers for 12 hours. They threw 100 CS grenades. They brought in a tank. They passed down the front of the house. They put gas tubes into the house. 12 hours later, they said they found the dead father of a two-year-old and a five-year-old. He was a white guy. Their bullets still no color when it comes to their policies that they will enforce by any means necessary. We have to resist by every means in our hands. Thank you. Hey, guys. No, no, no. no, no. no these, these guys are okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's okay, but. Hi, everybody. Oh, one more speaker. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm Yeah! That's fine. Um, this is our thing. And I've had the pleasure of working with the last couple Helping us helping the community come together through this tragedy. I know many of you I know um, many of you know that I do anti police brutality work as a way to bridge the divide between um, black and brown communities and
and also uh, black immigrant communities, of which actually a shame was part of. I, I was too. Talk a little louder. Volume. Oh, can you not hear me? No. Volume. 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 Now hold the mic closer to your mouth there. There you go. Um, there's a you caring site online uh, to help pay for funerary expenses. And if you'd like to donate, you could also give cash to Troy. One of the ways that um, one of the ways that these tragedies constantly um, constantly tear up our families is that they cause a lot of damage. A lot of families in Oakland, there's actually um, a nonprofit that if, if you get murdered by the, or if you get murdered by anyone, someone, like the uh, city will help you pay for the funeral, except if you get murdered by the police. So it's really unequal the way that resources are distributed. So that's one of the ways I think people can be in solidarity with this family, helping pay for those costs. Um, another way is just to stay connected. Troy has been doing a, a lot of really great work talking to organizers in Ferguson. Um, getting shot from the ground is like a national protective brutality movement. So if you, uh, you want to stay connected, get a hold of us. We'd love to work with more people. We'd love to create a larger network and tie a lot of the um, anti-police police brutality movement together work on not only how this uh, affects black and brown people, but how this affects poor people, about how police brutality affects disabled people, how it affects differently gendered people. Um, all of us who are, are targeted under this current, current militarized police state. Thanks. My name is Anak Sewell, and I, yeah, no. I live over in South Park. And, uh, I sat up straight in my bed when I heard gunshots, and I knew exactly what had happened. And I will tell everybody here that those, that sound will sit in my head the rest of my life, as well as the sound of the family members wailing at his memorial. I'll never forget that. It just breaks my heart. And what I want to say is, we have we're, we're, everybody says that this is the land of the free, but that's bullshit. Because if, if bullshit. one person can be a judge, jury, and executioner within a five-minute period, we are not the land of the free. We're the land of the oppressed. We're the land of, the, it's just, it, it goes beyond uh, rational thought. Uh, and then and then to re-victimize re the family by not contacting them in a timely manner, it's it, not contacting the, the, the community and, and having a fake town hall meeting to discuss the matter and, and the family has to find out through the media. Uh, there's no reason to re-victimize people and I, I just hope that uh, that everybody can stay solid in the, in the fight for justice for Shane and for everybody that uh, is victimized by the, the police that's thinking that they have the authority to do whatever the fuck they want. It's bullshit. Thank you. How are you all doing? <coughs> all right. Michelle from the Steady Foundation. I am proud and sad to be here today because there have been millions of O'Shea Nevins since the plantation and the slave catchers on the plantation is nothing new. And if we're not here today being loud and clear about the truth and corruption, there will be zillions of O'Shea Evans in the future. Okay? This is not a time anymore where we clench our fists. This is the time where we look at all avenues to stop the black and brown killings by the police. We're going to be sustainable, we're going to protect and serve each other, and we're going to do class action suits. And check us out in the future, Troy and his courageous family. They are not playing. It is not just another, oh, not another one of my babies. Oh, no. Hell they, no! They mean business, and they were intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> no justice, no, no peace. peace. No racist, police. No justice, no, no peace. peace. No racist, police. No justice, no peace. No racist, police. No justice, no peace. No racist, police. No justice, no peace. No racist, police.
I know it's hard being a police officer. I couldn't do it. It takes a different type of mentality, a different type of person to do it. So therefore, as people, we are, we are asking the police chiefs and stuff, please, 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 verify and double check on these people's backgrounds before you do employ them. Because honestly, some of these officers don't have that at all. And that's the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Second, for those of you uh, that have the stream embedded in the website. I'm going to have to stop talking here because I'm losing my voice. It's down to three now. Yes. That's not an accident. It was a policy. 
It was a housing policy. It was a jobs policy. It was a cop policy. Neighborhoods that are white neighborhoods, if you're black, you go in them, you get stopped by the cops. It's not an accident. It doesn't happen some of the time. If you're from out of town and you come in and you don't look like a tourist, you're stopped. It's not an accident. It's not a coincidence. It doesn't happen some of the time. The cops are killing people in San Francisco. They're harassing people in San Francisco. They're brutalizing people in San Francisco. It's racist. It's anti-working class, and it's a policy. And our response is that this one cop, maybe he needs a slap on the wrist. Or this police department, maybe they need to be trained better. They're trained well enough. They have a job, and their job is to keep people down, and we are not going to accept it anymore. Never again is a family going to have a loved one murdered and stand alone. The people in San Francisco fighting for justice, whether we're against war, for immigrant rights, fighting for housing, when the police brutalize someone, when the police murder someone, we come together, we are standing with them, we are fighting, and we are going to see that this city, this country, this world is for the people, not for the rich. No justice, no peace, no racist, no peace, 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 no justice, no peace, no racist, no peace. How do you spell murder? SFPD. How do you spell racist? SFPD. How do you spell murder? SFPD. How do you spell racist? SFPD. How do you spell murder? SFPD. How do you spell racist? SFPD. How do you spell murder? SFPD. How do you spell racist? SFPD. How do you spell murder? SFPD. Until next time, everybody. And that's on purpose.